recent years, climate change has become a topical issue in Zimbabwe and all over the world. But what is climate change? Climate change is a long-term summary of weather conditions, taking account of the average weather conditions as well as the variability of these conditions. Mr. John Mupuro of the Meteorological Department explains further on this. But now climate in a, the long-term sense over the 30-year period that we have experienced now, we have seen that uh, there is definitely a change and the change has been noticed more so uh, when we look at the temperature uh, trends. Most people often confuse climate change with climate variability. Dr. Martin Moyo of ACRISAD explains the difference between the two terms. It, it has to be clear that at times we only look at a five-year period and we say, ah, now climate is changing. And, but we have to look at a long-term record to, to really confidently say that climate is changing. And the mistake we usually make when dealing with the climate change and climate variability is we are currently experiencing climate variability from the long-term records that we have. It's currently climate variability. Change has to be, like, it has to be, I think statisticians say it has to be 30% of the, the normal. So 30% of the normal, if the temperature was, say, has risen by two, 2 degrees Celsius over a 100-year period, that's, that's real change. But then with rainfall, we are usually seeing it's mostly variability. So I, I think what people usually miss out, I've heard so many people, even the technocrats, I, I'm sure Chavisa speaks to the policy makers. They are always referring to, no, now climate change is really destroying us. But we are not really experiencing climate change for now. What we are experiencing is the variability. But what is climate? Climate is a long-term summary of weather conditions, taking account of the average weather conditions as well as the variability of these conditions. The terms weather and climate are closely related as both are measured in terms of meteorological conditions such as wind, rain, snow, sunshine, temperature, etc. Climate is measured in terms of weather patterns unfolding over a long period, say at least a decade. By contrast, weather is when the meteorological conditions are measured at a particular time and place. The difference between weather and climate is in the time frame over which they are measured. There are several causes of climate change and these can be natural or man-made. Key among the man-made causes is the greenhouse effect. Mr. Mupuro explains further on the phenomenon of the greenhouse effect. Uh, the addition of the greenhouse gases or the gases that absorb uh, the energy, the heat, the outgoing uh, heat are uh, one, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is added into the atmosphere by many means. One of them is by burning of fossil flu, uh, fuels. Uh, burning of, uh, of uh, the felt itself, burning of uh, fuels like petrol or petroleum, uh, the burning of uh, the coal and so forth. In, in an effort to make life easier, but wasting our, our environment. Examples of greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. Human activities which produce these gases are fossil fuel combustion, cement production, waste dumps, use of fertilizers, and industrial processes. There are also some natural causes of climate change, and these are explained by Mr. John Mupuro. When you look at uh, what uh, the factors that affect 
our climate in Zimbabwe. Natural, these are the natural ones. Not the main, main men, like the carbon dioxide that we have talked about. The natural ones. Normally, uh, latitude is, uh, is a bearing in the, in the climate of a place. So Zimbabwe is only within the tropics. So the, within the tropics, temperatures are generally high. <coughs> we are landlocked. We are not near the, the oceans. The oceans tend to moderate temperatures. But we are within, uh, we, are, we, are, we are landlocked. So, in meteorology, some time ago, we used to talk about these winds. To say, northeasterly airflow is going to cause afternoon thunderstorms. Some of that sort. Northwesterly airflow is affecting Zimbabwe. And it's going to give us copious rains. But nowadays, we are no longer talking about the, e the cause. We talk about the effect. Say we are expecting heavy rains, full stop. Climate change can lead to several consequences for human beings and nature, as explained by Mr. John Mupuro. Uh, the atmosphere is a huge... Uh, huge uh, machine where it is always wanting to balance itself. When we have a lot of energy in the atmosphere, it means whenever there is rain, it is either too much rain or very low rain, which is triggered by the energy of the heat trapped in, the, in, the, in this whole machine of the atmosphere. If we have high temperatures, we are bound to have heavy rains. If we have high temperatures, we are bound to have high evaporation, which will also cause drying of the, of the, of the soils. Climate change poses serious challenges to human livelihoods and the environment. Therefore, there is need for human beings to make sustainable use of the Earth's resources to avoid practices that increase the greenhouse gases.